Hey everybody, it's Lou. If you were lucky enough to be at the ICF conference last week in New York and the awards dinner, you'll remember that I began to take people back in time during the uh, program and was doing something that um, I'd done here, I think, before, but I, I held up the a shirt from Eindhoven in 2011. I talked about the mayor of Finland when he cried and on and on. What I didn't mention uh, was 2007 when Waterloo, Ontario, Canada was named. Now, like Vietnam, they'd worked on the program for years and then they finally got the nod and were named number one uh, in 07. The team was led by the mayor, uh, city councilor, and Professor Shirley Fenton, who you've heard on a podcast, as well as the founders of BlackBerry. And they were obviously pumped. At that time, this is a city of about 115,000 people at that time, produced 10% of all the publicly traded companies on the entire Toronto Stock Exchange. So they were a huge overperformer. And by all accounts, they remain a remarkable technology center and a memorable intelligent community. Even with the uh, demise of BlackBerry, they are still producing startup companies. But what really touched us was that in their recent 150 year anniversary coffee table book, which I have here, they spent like a page and a half talking about the intelligent community of the year award. What's cool is was they were always they were talking about putting a statue up as well. <laughs> they were actually talking about putting a statue up, but I think um, the size of my nose uh, said they you know they were going to take too much material, so they they backed down on that. But anyway, I think um, what they do in terms of remembering this is significant to future generations. And so hopefully Vietnam will do that as others have done. The legacy remains and uh, they know there's really no place like home. Take care.